Okay, we all crave our daily dose of green chili, and whether you buy the chili or you grow them yourself, green chilies develop their best flavor after roasting. But roasting is the skill that just doesn't come naturally to all of us. So we have brought in the expert today. And with a fresh new haircut, it oh, yes. is personal chef Chandler. You Sassy look good. And, oh, well, thanks. I feel really good. Thanks. You look good. I'm so happy you're here. And you know, I guess the first step, by the way, they were saying outside, they could smell the chili from outside the building. That's how amazing. That's awesome. And, and the first step, I suppose, would be choosing the best chili. But I've heard that the firmer the chili, the easier it actually will be to peel. The meteor. Right? It's called meteor. It's meteor. Yeah, it's okay. meteor. So like the, the chili that they brought, you can mm -hmm. tell it's nice, oh, yeah. long, big, it's probably a big gym chili and okay. um, it's, and so I roasted some of their chili okay. this morning because it was just, it just looked incredibly oh, awesome. Yeah. So I had to roast it and um, yeah, we're going to peel it so you can, you can see, but yeah, okay. that's usually the truth in it. In it, but the first thing that you have to do is put on gloves. Okay. Especially if you wear contacts. Okay. You never peel chili unless you take out your contacts first okay. and put on your glasses because you're peeling oh, chili good. and you're gonna put that hot fingers and as we all know that have peeled chili. <laughs> yikes! Does that hurt? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you we, will never we, do that again. We don't want that kind of pain. And gloves. Use, okay. Use the gloves. So, okay. Use the gloves. Now, so you pick your first chili. Now you said roast. Now I noticed that you've got some on the grill and some in a pan. So what do right. you do? Well, I wanted to show people the difference in the chili roasting. Okay. okay. I'm put so my ring over I, here. the most, where are you going? I'm just putting my ring okay. down. Yeah, <laughs> you, can't, you, can't put, you can't put those gloves on that big old honking ring. Uh -uh. Um, you're gonna poke the chili. Okay. Because it's a pepper, just right. like red peppers and green peppers. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna poke the chili with your fork, with your knife. Make sure there's a lot of holes in this little thing, so it doesn't. Uh. It doesn't explode in your face or in your oven. I never even thought of that. It's so okay. Weird. Okay, so that's you know, gloves number one. Gloves. Poke the chili. Poke the chili. Okay. So what I did is I poked the chili mm -hmm. and then I put it on a cookie sheet. Okay. There's no oil on the cookie sheet. There's oh no. No, nothing. I just put it like this. Oh. Okay. You can put foil. You can put foil on your cookie sheet if you want, so you <laughs> don't get these black sure. stains and stuff. Okay. But um, and I put it on broil. Oh, okay. On the top Is that shelf. that helps it blister? Yes, you okay. want it to blister and you don't want it to be in your oven all day at 400 degrees. Oh, boy. When I was a kid, we did it on the grill. Okay. So that was why I brought the little grill pan. Okay. So that you could do it on a grill pan well, as well. Before you go to the grill, just tell me real quick. So you put it in broil and for how long do you broil it? Until it's black. Just wait till so it's black. So I was trying to time it this morning to see how long, because I, I thought you might ask me that question. Because <laughs> everybody was asked, well, how long do you do this? And I'm just like, you know, I just do it. You time it, it in you your know, head. You know, you know, I don't time when anything. you know, you know. Um, so about 20 minutes, I okay. would say. And so you, oh, you know, you keep turning it around. You, you, oh. keep, you know, you have your, your oops, your tongs, and you just keep, you know, turning it around okay. because you want it to be the roasted. Got it. You roast it green chili. Okay. And then you and I had talked about this earlier. Mm -hmm. I put it in a plastic bag. See, I never knew this trick. And it's called sweating. Sweating. You want to, your chili to sweat. Okay. And it will peel easier. That is such a good tip. Okay, so it, while it's still hot, you put it in that plastic Correct. bag. Correct. You don't wait till it's cool. Sweat to you the old sweat. So here's your chili. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's already. Oh my gosh, the smell, you guys. I can't take so it. So you're going to peel off the, the skin. Okay. And usually it'll just come right off. I feel, I feel like I'm not very good at this, though, with the gloves. Oh, honey. You're, you oh, yeah, are it is coming right off. Yes. This did not happen for me on my own, Jan. Well, I don't think you sweated it. <laughs> I bet. I was sweating, but I didn't sweat it. Right. That's oh, funny. yeah. This is good. Right? Wow, this is the easiest peel I've they ever done. You could just kind of start from the top and go down. It's not oh, a big deal. Oh, is that the best yeah. way? Oh, this would make really good chili rellenos, this <gasps> chili. Oopsie. Okay. I think I screwed up a little. No, oh, no I didn't. I got it. You got it. Oh, look at that. Look Man. at that. Look at you. Wow. Okay, so open it up after you peel it. Okay. And open you're just going to run down your, your hand to get the seeds out. Wait a minute. I got a little piece right here. Don't be afraid of it. Don't <laughs> be afraid I'm of it. I'm so scared. It's not alive. You can't do anything wrong to it. It's just a fruit, not a vegetable. I know. Wasn't that? I love those fun facts. I know. Weren't they interesting? Yeah. Yeah. I know you already probably knew them. Well, 
I knew that one. Yeah, wait, I have a quick question. If we yeah. wanted to freeze them, would we skim yes. them first? What would be the deal with yes, that? Yes, you could do either way. Okay. But after you've put around five gunny sacks of chili, mm -hmm. you don't peel them anymore. You're just like, so you can roast them, okay. let them cool, and put them in the freezer like this. Oh, like that. So uh -huh. Okay. Or you can peel them, roast them, peel them like this. And put them in the freezer. Was I supposed to Feel. take this out or no? Yeah, you can. Okay. Yeah. And now what? Do we want to keep the seeds and make it no, really hot? No, no, no. We're going to want to get rid of the seeds. Oh, fine. Okay. <laughs> what makes to it hot is this thing right here called the vein. The vein is what makes that it hot. That makes it hot. Okay. This doesn't smell like very hot chili. It smells like mild chili. Oh my God, it smells amazing is what it And smells. you can smell hot chili. Okay, so while we're doing this, tell us what now with the grill. You, you had also mentioned doing it on the grill. I what, just, what's did, the tips just, for I just did no oil, hot pan. Turn it on, let it get hot, That's put it. your chilies, turn them, po poke them, you okay. know, punch them, okay. and then you're going to turn them around until they get blistered like this. Got it. Okay, now okay. you're going to make some salsa for us, aren't you? Yes. So now wait, should I just put this down here? No, give it to me. Okay. I think I left too many seeds. Let's keep, take, keep getting those seeds out of there. They're sticking to my gloves. This is the glove problem. That's the glove. Well, you can <laughs> use a knife like this, too. Okay. Okay. Oh, so yeah, what I, I did was I, I uh, picked some tomatoes out of our garden this morning. Okay. And Fresh tomatoes. So how come Yay. my chili looks a lot bigger than yours? Look at mine <laughs> compared to yours. <laughs> this, this, it's not I bueno. Lose, this is not good here, honey. I lose <laughs> all the chili. I'm doing something wrong. I must Don't be. Don't be afraid of it. Just get in there. <laughs> okay. Okay. It looks, it looks good. A little puny, but good. It you know, puny. we lost a little bit of it, but that's, that's okay. okay. Bring it on over. Okay. Sorry, this, I know. This, I, this is not an hour-long class. I know. Here, you know so. we, are, we have less than a minute, so we're going to show everybody how we would do the salsa then. Okay. You got your fresh tomatoes from the garden. Right. Chopping it up to chili. Right. I added a little bit of minced garlic. Okay. And your fresh green... See, this is the way I grew up in Santa Fe eating it. My mom mm. would grill it off the... And pick it out of our garden, grill it on the grill, uh. peel it, chop it up, get some tomatoes from the garden, and she fresh would... Garlic. Just put it all together, and it wouldn't even make it inside the house. Oh. We would be eating this stuff. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Okay. Okay. So just a little minced garlic, salt, green chili, and tomatoes. Correct. And that's it. And that's it. Now, this is really good on eggs in the morning Ooh, as well. I bet. This is really good on green chili hamburgers, green oh. chili cheese hamburgers. Well, you know I'm going to be tasting it. And yeah. How can our viewers get in contact with you? Because obviously you are a personal chef and we want to let people have a, an opportunity to get your services. Yes, you can go to my website, okay. Jan Can Cook For You. Uh, visit me on my email, jansonforth at gmail.com, or you can call me on my cell phone. Fantastic. I will be calling you, Miss oh, Jan. I know. I adore I know. you. And thank you so much. And I'm about to eat some food. Here. And when we come back, we will have a little more uh, fun with our pet of the week. Yay. Yay. Okay, let's go for it. Doesn't that look pretty?